Hi my friends, how are you? Welcome to my channel again. Today I have a different setting here. So like um, my trouble of every day when I do perfumes is the light, especially in the dark season. So like now I'm really trying to get some sort of light for you or for this video so that uh, you could see the perfume more clearly. But like, so uh, today guys, I will open this perfume. But the perfume that I really wanted to open more than this today was, uh, I bought these perfumes um, from Zara yesterday. It was really like, uh, they had this new selection of perfumes and I felt so refreshed smelling them. And also I uh, I went to the one of the Middle Eastern perfume shops uh, yesterday too. And I kept smelling, I kept smelling perfumes there and I just couldn't find uh, much of the perfumes that would feel fresh and you know like summery and i couldn't find it and i felt a little bit disappointed one perfume that i thought that I, for the second time i thought that i will buy but i still end up not buying at all was that uh, y yellow version of this perfume which is uh, the name is something like tooth or some yara tooth or something this one is a strawberry you know a strawberry color this type of um, pink color so this one is yara and the other one is tooth so the reason why I, I didn't bought that yellow one, because when you spray it, uh, it has this type of bitterness. It's sweet perfume, but it has this type of like a bitterness. And that beauty of that perfume kind of comes just maybe five minutes after, you know, smelling it. So that perfume, I'm sure I'm going to get it in the future, but uh, right now I don't have it. And I bought quite few of Zara perfumes, you know, you will see the videos uh, at some point later on. One of them, the one that I bought was Shades of Nostalgia, you know, Zara perfume, so which I wanted to open today because this would be brilliant, you know, for this type of weather situation. Mm, and then I bought uh, something that uh, the word in the name was Moonlight something something and then I bought another one. I don't remember what's the name but but those perfumes that they have released there some you know not long ago is kind of looks good quality and seems to be refreshing and interesting so and they are not expensive they are even cheaper than Middle Eastern perfumes so it will it will be very interesting guys to see what uh, what are those perfumes about but this perfume is Yara so Yara perfume, I'm gonna open it guys for you, I'm just gonna open it now, I have my laptop here so, so, let's have a look, unboxing, unboxing video of uh, Latafa perfume Yara, mm, the expiration date is 2029 and it was re released in 2024, which is actually is released in this year, which is great, so I have a fresh perfume guys, so I have a fresh Yara perfume, strawberry i think guys i still like uh, that yellow one more than this but at that time when i was buying it uh, they were out of stock that's unfortunate yara perfume it looks beautiful beautiful classic you know i wish it would be more colorful so it would be popping out the color in this uh, type of uh, rainy weather conditions you know but uh, this the color is like that so it's not a lot of color but looks really cute guys looks really cute let's uh, I have blocked nose. I'm really hoping that I will be able to smell something, you know, because I, if I will not be able to smell anything, so this video, it will be just like for nothing. So. Strawberry. <laughs> Sorry, just the alcohol is coming, but like. Strawberry. I wonder why I'm not feeling much at the moment. Is it because I have blocked nose or something? I shouldn't do videos when I have blocked nose. I even forgot actually that, that I have a blocked nose, you know. So strawberry. A lot of strawberry, you know, like a, a lot of strawberry. <coughs> so I think I prefer that yellow one, you know, uh, definitely. I think, really guys, I have a blocked nose today. That's the problem. But you know what? So I feel this vanilla strawberry vanilla strawberry and i don't feel much there guys vanilla strawberry you know some kind of like a musky feeling musky vanilla strawberry nothing major guys that's the thing nothing major i wish they would have had that yellow one so at least i wouldn't need to you know keep purchasing you know those you know this perfume like uh, i'm kind of i wonder 
that I made the mistake of buying like kind of like a smoothie type of smoothie type of strawberry that is it's not clear guys if I like it you know it's not clear I'm not sure if I like it that's the thing that's the thing guys but it's not bad but like let's read about it more you know just for the fact that I have blocked nose at the moment so for women so vanilla perfume it was released in 2020 so you have orchid heliotrope tangerine you have some kind of like a gourmand accord tropical fruits and then you have vanilla musk and sandalwood kind of musky you know you feel that musk strawberry musk it's smooth but at the same time qual uh, do i feel quality guys i don't know where's the quality you know where's the quality i feel like maybe more quality has that yellow yellow one you know anyway so let's see tropical fruits tropical fruit they say moderate longevity Whew. female definitely for female and then <clears throat> some people say that it's kind of similar to mont black mont blanc signature perfume and then and then some people say they didn't like it this perfume that this little bit smells ugly Ah, hmm. uh, but then they say some sort of magic happens after so that's pretty inspiring it's probably that magic will come out you know so it's, it, you know what's the good fa fact is that it's smooth and feminine so something smooth you know like it's coming out something smooth which could be quite beautiful maybe later on you know something Maybe something feminine and smooth and not too aggressive. You know, like, how can those perfumes aggressive could be? Like, for example, yesterday I smelled this very famous perfume. Luckily, I never bought it. You know, uh, as I was blind buying perfumes uh, some time ago, I, I was considering to buy that Chagaf Oud. You know, that golden, golden bottle. And luckily, I didn't bought it because when I smelled it yesterday... It smelled very similar to those typical, you know, perfumes like, let's say, Oud Mood, some, that type of vibe. And luckily, luckily, by I didn't bought that one. So, and I feel very tired of these perfumes like this at the moment. I'm going to be looking for the something more smooth. So, so people say that they have this perfume as for cooler weather, you know, like, and then <coughs> it's like a candy-like perfume appropriate for work. Appropriate for work. And some people say, like, any, anyhow, like, a lot of different opinions, guys, but, like, really. So, what's my opinion? So, it's smooth, like, candy. Candy, like, strawberry, like, vanilla type of musky. You know, like, uh, really, at the same time, uh, really, it's nothing major, guys. Nothing major. I wouldn't repurchase this per perfume again. But, like, I need to wear this perfume a little bit more. I need to have some wearing experience to see how it opens, you know, within time to see. Like, how this perfume will open uh, to wear it in the work situations, you know? Is it something like a... Like, will it project, you know? Will it not project? Like, how is this candy-like type of smell that I smell now? How is this going to open? Is, it's, it, now, it feels like, you know, girly perfume. This type of girly perfume that I, I smell, you know? Maybe it can be quite nice in the work situation. Like, nothing too overpowering. Which is now, that's what I'm looking, guys. And also, guys, in the future, you will see me talking about uh, another 13 perfume, which is actually, I got a very small bottle. I bought it, guys. At first, I got a sample, and I got, I got a small uh, bottle, 15 mil, because they are really expensive, guys. I went into the Labo perfume shop as well, and I was smelling them, those perfumes. I smelled all of them, but of course, like, through smelling all of them, you cannot really smell a lot, but I smelled like um, bergamot you know i sprayed few perfumes and as i was walking through the you know through in the in the town i i i you know i was surrounded by these lalabo smells and it was pretty nice i must tell you it's just i don't really know which perfume was uh, projecting there maybe bergamot maybe you know i smelled all of the matcha felt quite nice but at the same time they didn't seem to be too crazy and then I got a sample of um, something. Which one I got, guys? Some beginning with N letter. I got this. Is it Noir or something? Got a sample. That was <laughs> feeling really good. So no matter what, guys, I'm going to leave you at that. So what's the end? 
it's this type of candy strawberry it's same everything is the same guys I'm, I'm i'm gonna be wearing this perfume a little bit more to tell you a little bit more about it because this is just the first impression i'm gonna leave you guys to that to wave you with this perfume in this nostalgic day and in the future you will you will hear me talking about zara perfumes you know uh nost shades of nostalgia you know have you heard that perfume of zara so they all cost not expensive but at least they will feel somewhat refreshing you know Somewhat refreshing. That's what we are looking for. I will come back to you next time, guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.